I was looking at my own health and how I wanted to lose some weight. Um, I developed terrible adult acne that I had never even had as a teenager. Um, and then also my energy levels were down and I didn't really have an excuse for my energy levels being down other than the fact that I had three young kids, but you know, I wasn't working. I mean, I, you know, I could take naps in the afternoon, all of these things that I, you know, felt like, uh, you know, I, I just couldn't figure out. So anyway, I, I knew I needed to lose some weight and maybe I would feel better if I ultimately did that. And that's when I started really paying attention to the ingredients in food and that I was eating and counting calories. I went and saw some different doctors trying to get some sort of diagnosis that never came. Finally, one day, my diet coke was was staring at me in the face. This is like my best friend. I had been, you know, like attached to it for many, many years since I was a teenager, and it was perfectly facing me with the ingredients, um, you know, sh showing in my showing me the ingredients, and and I, it was like the first time that I'd really paid attention to what I was putting in my body. There were over thirty ingredients in the can. Um, at the time, it was 10 calories. It, they hadn't even gotten to sort of zero calories. I really didn't think that there was anything wrong with it, mm -hmm. um, but because it was diet, and to me, diet meant healthy. And that's when I put it to the side and just started drinking water and, um, and just as a test. And it wasn't easy because I had been drinking it for a long time. I knew I'd get some headaches, which I absolutely had, but I I just almost went through this detox for the next few days that was like really, really hard to describe. Two and a half weeks later, I had lost some weight um, and I didn't know how much weight, but I hopped on the scale and I had lost 24 pounds in two and a half weeks, which I was like, this is crazy, right? And my energy levels were back, my skin had cleared up. And that's when I really looked at like the fact that like me, there's probably so many other people out there that are confused by these terms like diet or low fat or, or even drinks that are calling themselves water that actually have sweeteners in them. And so I, I, I was like really on the program now of drinking water, but also recognizing that the reason I didn't drink water was because it was so boring. And so I started slicing up fruit on my counter and, um, and throwing it in the water just for taste. And I was like, this is all I need. I just need like a little bit of fruit in the water for taste. And so I was shopping at uh, my local Whole Foods in San Francisco and kind of thinking, gosh, I wonder if there's anything like this, you know, on the shelf that I could just buy. And like I said, I saw all these kind of healthy perception versus healthy reality brands that had all these sweeteners. And I didn't want to go back to switching from diet soda to some other drink with some sweeteners in it. And so I asked the guy that was, you know, merchandising the shelves in, the, in Whole Foods, I said, do you have a product like this that just has fruit and water? And what I found is that I was actually educating you know, this very intelligent person who was merchandising at Whole Foods, like that about this category. And I believed at that point, like I thought it should have been in a store like Whole Foods, this idea that I had for water with just fruit in it, but it wasn't. And um, so then I looked all over the East Coast as well to try and find the product. I couldn't find it. You know, and about a year later, I finally just decided I'm going to write the business plan and get this product on the shelf. Little did I know that not only was I launching a you know, product and a company, but also an entirely new category.